You are listening to Two Friends, Two Poems, the podcast where friends read poems to each other just to see what happens. My name's Tom, and this was my idea. Today we'll hear poems by Noor Hindi and Natalie Shapiro, as well as two new ones from your host, Tom and Paul. All right, here we go. Let's get poetry. I feel like you usually, do you usually go first or do I usually go first? thinking about it uh, no I, I did something different say more i i picked my guest poet first and read that poem and then uh then wrote my own poem because i i felt like that's the most audacious like oh i'm gonna yeah issue a poetic response to a uh real poet um yeah and so i i issue my apologies in advance (laughs) (laughs) that's awesome i can't wait well what i did was i the other day i on facebook i just after i had uploaded the previous episode i just asked my facebook friends who who's a poet i should read and i had several uh several responses so I chose a poem that a friend of mine, that a high school friend of mine, suggested I, I look for, I, I read. So, uh, thank Amazing. you to thank you to Elizabeth. Um, I I'm gonna I'm gonna make it through. She she suggested a few, and then I'm gonna keep asking for more. That's that's great. Yeah. Oh, I I want to mention too. Mm. I I missed talking to Wes uh, for. Yeah. For all of our listeners out there. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh I hope I hope you listened to Wes. Um and uh I you know I really got a good knock in for prioritizing work over I this. know. <laughs> and then the universe gave oh, me a good knock in. Oh too. my god. So I I'm so sorry. And I, I... I I get a chance to meet Wes. Wes and I are both Tom adjacent. And uh, <laughs> it'll maybe, happen. Maybe I'll do an episode just me and Wes. Ooh, I love that idea. <laughs> um, oh my God. I had not put together that we had made that joke. And then here you are <laughs> here on the market with good old Tom. Yeah, yeah. Pulling up. <laughs> Pulling up our bootstraps and rolling up our bootstraps. I so I think what I want to do is I want to get. I want to read my guest poem first. Great. Why don't you kick us off? Because emotionally that'll get it out of the way, and then you can fix it in your brilliant editing. Yeah, I'll add like symbols and spring noises and sound effects. Yeah, you can to, have Wes singing, singing one of Wes's happy songs. Yeah, I'm getting a happy <laughs> Wes song. <laughs> you can write a poem. You could be a I'm carpenter. Not. You could clean windows. <laughs> or nothing at all. Or no- <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like Flanders. Or nothing at all. <laughs> or nothing at all. <laughs> all right. Uh, who is the guest poet you brought? Okay. The guest poet is Noor Hindi. And uh, she wrote this particular poem in December of 2020. The title is, Fuck Your Lecture on Craft, My People Are Dying. Colonizers write about flowers. I tell you about children throwing rocks at Israeli tanks seconds before becoming daisies. I want to be like those poets who care about the moon. Palestinians don't see the moon from jail cells and prisons. It's so beautiful, the moon. They're so beautiful, the flowers. I pick flowers for my dead father when I'm sad. He watches Al Jazeera all day. I wish Jessica would stop texting me happy Ramadan. I know I'm American because when I walk into a room, something dies. 
metaphors about death are for poets who think ghosts care about sound. And when I die, I promise to haunt you forever. One day, I'll write about flowers like we own them. Hell yeah. Wow. Good good job. Nice reading. And I love it. I can't wait to read you mine because I brought a poem about the sky. The I guest poet. It. Yeah. So I yeah, who, how about, who is it? Who's how about we just it? jump right into my my poet? Um uh the poet's name is Natalie Shapiro or Shapiro. It's uh P-E-R-O at the end of her name. Uh Natalie Shapiro, and the poem is called The Sky. Whatever I care for, someone else loves it more, deserves it more. The doe with her whole mouth crushing the flocks, or the seer who adores my future, whereas I could take it or leave it. I know I'll disappear. It won't be glamorous. It won't be like when the Mona Lisa was stolen and the tourists all lined up to pay their respects at the empty spot on the wall of the Louvre. Hmm. I've never actually seen the sky. I've only ever seen effluence, seen wattage. The only night I remember is the dinner of neighbors at which a man I never had met before said, I don't fear dying. Look at the past. People have been dying forever. And then he stopped and shook his head. I drank too much. I was almost saying that people have died forever and all of them survived. But of course, he made a hard laugh. God, of course they didn't survive. I like to imagine people are like at the gym. <laughs> yeah, right. They're like, I need a podcast to listen to. <laughs> I was just going on a little... 10 to 15 minute jog I'm on the Stairmaster <laughs> Master me stairs This poem is called Comfort for the man who has everything Ah Lovely The Lord moves in mysterious ways The universe is bent Toward justice Life finds a way Love finds a way The truth will out What will be will be this too shall pass. There's nothing new under the sun. You did what you could. All we can do is pray. The sun will keep rising. And there is no suffering you can't endure. Seek. And you will find. Prayers and truffles go together. Uh, not to sound cynical. Do you, do you feel better yet? Talk it out. Violence solves nothing. Talking makes you feel better. I, I need to feel better. It never should have happened. This celebration of life. Give it time. She's in a better place. That's where the light gets in. She would have wanted it this way. It, it'll be all right. It is all right. It'll be all right in the end. Fantastic. Oh, my God. Love it. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah. You're always so nice. Well, I mean, what, what am I going to do? <laughs> What's the alternative? God damn it. <laughs> okay. Is that what you're bringing to the podcast? <laughs> A few notes. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. I I have no I have no like questions. I loved it. You know I don't know. Uh, I you know what it it's at one point early on it reminded me of something that I love, which is the opening monologue and montage of Train Spotting the film uh the choose life choose this choose that choose that and i love both i mean and then they and then there's a sequel and they do it the same but it had a rhythm and your delivery had a 
had a similar something about it reminded me of uh that and it's like i could imagine what you just read with you know lust for life under it or or the or the like you know and thanks be to fuckity fuck <laughs> thanks be thanks be to fuckity fuck and also with you okay <laughs> um all right i will read my poem now uh this is cover letter Writing a cover letter is hard, just like a play or a novel, because it's already there in your head. Not the words, the vibe, the poster, the cover, the intended response and the new life after. And what if the vibe can't be worded? What if the poster is misleading? Did God feel like this that day before? It feels like a waste of time to dig it up. The novel or the play, the cover letter, another first day. Is this just impatience, fear of disappointment? Is this addiction? I reach for coffee, I reach for phone, I reach for smoke, I reach for anything except this moment of pause after the words to whom it may concern. So let me tell you the story. I was trying to write a cover letter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have never guessed. Yeah. Yeah. I did write it, by the way. I wonder when in human history the first letter addressed to to whom it may concern was. Ooh. You know, if you happen to be reading this. Yeah. To whom it happens to be reading. <laughs> to whom it may concern. Oh, does this concern you? <laughs> We're running out of food. <laughs> <laughs> Look, and I don't mean, I don't mean to whom the busybodies are like oh, truly right. if this does not concern you yeah <laughs> keep keep walking put it back in the bottle throw it back in the ocean <laughs> it's a stone tablet <laughs> someone like chiseled it like <laughs> for real do not read this <laughs> if it is not your concern <laughs> I have etched this into stone, so do not waste my time. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to go get a chisel right now. This has been Two Friends, Two Poems. Today we heard some amazing poetry by Noor Hindi and Natalie Shapiro. And Tom and Paul wrote some too. If you like the show, tell somebody about it or do any of the things. You can read Tom's poems by going to tomwardwrites.medium.com as well as patreon.com slash tomward. Thanks for listening. Seriously, go write a poem.